All right, this is your brother Aisha Yarn coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I'm learning this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth with the truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, You Can't Walk This Walk Without Faith. All right. You can't walk this walk without faith. Now, pretty much, I got a spice to do this lesson because of multiple reasons. But as we all know, man, you can't be in this truth if you don't believe. Point blank, period. If you don't believe and you don't have it inside of you to actually go out and do this work, to actually study, sit down, take this truth seriously, look at videos, make sure that you're doing what's right every single day, that you're not really in this truth. I ain't even going to say you're not really in this truth. You're not in this truth, man. And you're going to have to have faith within these last days, man, because it's already heating up. 2024 started, and we already had the earthquake in Japan. Uh, somebody that was a part of an Israelite camp was put to death, I believe, yesterday or two days ago. I'm going to have to look at the video and then uh, maybe do a response to it. All right. And um, as we all know, we're getting closer and closer to the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Jacob's trouble, this may be the hopeful year, hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, all right? So there's a lot of things you got to consider, man. There's a lot of things you really got to think about to actually see if you're part of this truth. Are you really about this life? <laughs> all right? If you're really about this life, man, you're going to do what's necessary every single day, man. You're going to have to have faith. Because one of the things that definitely made me want to do this video is because when Jacob's trouble finally does showcase itself all right that's going to be the time where you're going to have to make that split decision all right you're going to have to get to the point where you just be like okay this is it now you know either i go with the flow or i go with the world you got to make a decision man and we already know what decision you're supposed to be making you're supposed to be believing in yahweh bahasham yahweh shai point blank period it's not going to be a time for you to be like no you get all scared you start folding you hesitate all of those things, man. All right? Because you already know, if you go into the world, that's going to get you death anyway. If you get to the point where you're just like, man, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and take the MOTB. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, or I'm not going to take the MOTB. I'm about to run into these stores and start stealing from people, doing this, doing that. You're not about this, man. Because you got to remember, even during the time of Jacob's trouble, we still are under the law. Under the law. That's why you got certain scriptures that say, you know, um, if you eat the pig or the mouse or any of those unclean animals, you still could be put to death, man. Because that's going to be a temptation. Because imagine not being out here, imagine being out here without food for about three, four days, man. And then you finally see something that's living and it's an animal. But you realize it's an animal that you can't eat. You got to walk past that animal, man. That's going to be a lot of people that's going to say, fuck that. Just like when you watch the movie, um, the book of Eli, you know, Denzel Washington, when he saw a cat, he killed it and he ate that cat, man, because that's how bad it's going to get out here. There's going to be a famine. So it's going to have to get to the point where you have to literally be strong in the names of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. You can't walk this walk without faith. You're literally going to have to wait for the most high to put you in a situation where you can eat a certain animal. You may run into a situation where you may see a deserted house and then you walk inside of that house and then it got all of the foods that you need. And it don't have to be meat either, man. All right. You can run, run into an area where you see apples, oranges, pineapples or whatever the case may be, peanuts. you be like, oh, OK, cool. The most I looking out for me. You may run into a place where you may uh, find some water. You have to have major faith when it comes to. Um, to Jacob's trouble, man, in these last days, all right? So let's start with John chapter 3, verse 1. It says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High, but no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Most High be with him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time into his mother's womb and be born? 
Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. All right? That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, You must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. All right? So, in order for you to be born again, you have to be born within the Spirit. You have to have a different feeling, a different view on life. This is not a thing where you come into the truth and you just realize that you're an Israelite and you're just like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, that's great. All right? No, this is the thing where now the fear of the Lord should be upon you because now you're starting to understand what the Bible is all about. You're starting to understand what the Lord is all about. So when you're born again, you start making better decisions, man. You start doing things actually from the heart, meaning your mind, all right? You start actually examining every single move that you do every single day. You start doing things according to the spirit. That's why it says that which is born of the flesh is of the flesh, the world. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So in order for you to really have faith, you have to be born again. If you still doing things as you know that you're not supposed to be doing as a part of the world, man, you still eating pork, you still have a, a habit of smoking weed, cigarettes, or whatever it is that you know that you're not supposed to be doing, you are of the flesh. You're not of the spirit, man. And you cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. That's why it says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of of the Most High. You really can't have faith unless you're born again, man. So you have to start from scratch, literally. You gotta be as a little child, like Yahweh Shah said. You gotta literally be like a sponge and soak in all of this truth and be a different person. That's why the scriptures say, put off the old man and put on the new man. That's the only way that you can actually reach salvation. Like, like I said, that's the only way that you can have faith because how are you gonna have faith if you're still doing things that's in the world. When you do things in the, that's in the world, that means you have faith in the things that you were doing before. When people want to get away from their problems and everything like that, what's one of the main things that Jake does? He smokes weed, right? He try to erase those problems temporarily. But when you're born again and you're in this truth that you're going through problems, the first thing that we do is grab these scriptures because these scriptures are our comfort, man. And we deal with the situation. Because the scriptures told us, take in, the, you know, um, when you come into situations, take it cheerfully. When temptation hits you, take it cheerfully. We deal with it. We man up. It'd be like, okay, you know what? It's all good. Let's just go ahead and deal with this, get through it. Then the next thing you know, it's over with. We don't find a temporary, a temporary uh, solution. This truth is forever, man. All right? Let's get First Peter. Um, let's get First Peter chapter 1. We're going to go to verse 22. And it says, Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of the Most High, which liveth and abideth forever. Just said that. <laughs> the truth is forever. The word, that's how you're born again. That's how you're washed. That's how you're cleansed by this word, by actually understanding it and living in it. Verse 24 says, For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel was preached unto you, preached unto you. This is another reason why it's very important for you to listen to the correct people. Yes, there are false prophets out here, man. Yeah, these other Israelite groups may teach Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans that they are Israelites, but they go off on a lot of points. Knowing that this place is getting ready to crash, man, this is the time for you to really buckle down, man, and get serious with the Lord. Like I said, literally this year just started. It's only been three days. A man was put to death, an earthquake happened, planes are crashing, and it's only been three days. This could be the year where shit hit the fan, man. So you really do have to be born again. You have to move according to the spirit and be of the incorruptible seed. Because the incorruptible is forever. And we are going to live forever. If we are the first fruits of the kingdom, 
if we actually make it yeah we're going to be incorruptible we're going to be in a new bodies and we're going to live forever but first you got to be incorruptible in the spirit man you got to get to the point where in nothing of this world will break you you got to get to the point where you're just like look i'm not going to be dealing with this bullshit no more man it's time to man up let's get um samuel no let's get second samuel let's get second samuel chapter 22 go to verse 31 And it says, as for the Most High, his way is perfect. All right. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that, tr <laughs> that trust in him. Spirit, man. He is your protection. The Most High will make sure that you're good as long as you are what? You are born again and you have full 144% faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. His way is perfect. If you do everything that he tells you to do, your life will be good. Verse 32, it says, But who is the Most High save the Lord, and who is the rock save our power? The Most High is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect, literally. All right? He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high places. Now, this is spiritual power scripture right here, because we will run like the flash. That's why it says he maketh my feet like hinds feet. All right? The 144,000 are going to receive those new bodies, and yeah, we will become hunters. And that's going to be a way that we protect ourselves and the wives that uh, make it throughout Jacob's trouble as well. All right. We're going to receive those new bodies. And yeah, we're going to be the real X-Men, the real superhero in these last days. And this is going to start in the midst of Jacob's trouble. All right. Verse 35, it says, he teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. <laughs> Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy gentleness hath made me great, all right? So the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will ultimately save you, literally and spiritually, all right? And thy gentleness hath made me great, and ultimately you become a great person. You become a better person. Your name will endure forever. Like the scriptures say, it's better to go out with a good name than to be in a, in a world and go out with an evil name, roughly paraphrasing, all right? You always want to be remembered for somebody who stood for something that was great. And why, why not go ahead and stand for this truth? Because we already know at the end of the day, this is what's going to win. This truth is going to stand firm, man. Everything else is going to crumble. Like the scriptures say, this world is getting ready to pass away, but the truth is going to endure forever, man. Let's get Hebrews chapter 11. We'll start at verse 5. Because like I said, in order for you to really be a part of this truth, you got to have faith, man. And when you read Hebrews, the 11th chapter, it gives you multiple examples of our forefathers and what they did to show their faith. All right. As you read right here, you know what? Let's start at verse four. Or should we start at the top? Let me see. Um, let's start at the top, actually. This is Hebrews chapter one, chapter 11, verse one. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto the Most High more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he uh, obtained witness that he was righteous, the Most High testifying of his gifts, and by it he, being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. He was beamed into a chariot and was not found because the Most High translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So every single day, you're supposed to get better. You're supposed to be diligent, consistent, Strong in the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Without faith, you cannot please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You will not believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai if you don't have faith. All right, it says, By faith, Noah being warned in the Most High, or the power of things have not. Hold on. It said, By faith, Noah being warned of the power of things not seen as yet, moved with what? Fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should 
after received for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles of Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise, for he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. All right, so like I said, when you keep reading, you see all of these different examples, man. All right. Abraham was getting ready to offer up his own son, man. <laughs> all right. He heard the Mosai. He heard um, he heard uh, the voices. All right. And he followed instructions. He was getting ready to, to offer up his own uh, son. That's how much faith that he had. But the angel stopped him at the last minute. It's like, no, don't do this. That's how much faith we're going to have to have, man. Because like I said, when it comes down to it, and Esau finally made this MOTB mandatory, and then you walk outside, you actually see soldiers. You go to the nearest grocery store, you see they're guarding the front doors. Or you just walk around, period, and they run up on you, and they ask you, where's your RFID chip? And they got AK-47s and all kind of shit pointing at you. What you gonna do? You had to be the man. You gonna have to move by faith. You gonna have to believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is real, and you're gonna have to let him take care of you. Because if not, guess what? You do not have faith. You do not believe. All right? So let's get one last scripture, then we'll close it out. Let's get Ephesians chapter 6. Then we'll start at verse 11. The armor of the Mosai. <laughs> verse 10. <coughs> Salakia. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Mosai that you may be able to to stand against the wiles of the devil, all right? Faith, believing, all right? Being of the spirit. Verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, all right? The whole armor of the Most High, the Word, believing, having faith, having that healthy fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Verse 14, it says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is what? Again, the word of the Most High. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. All right. So you put on the whole armor of the Most High, which is this word, faith, fearing, believing. All of those words go hand in hand, all right? Like I said, you cannot be in this truth if you don't have faith. If you don't really believe all the way, you're not going to make it, man. If you second-guessing yourself every single day and you're getting weaker and weaker, you better start praying, man. Start doing what's right. Start, you know, manning up. Because like it's like, you know, this is the easy part right here. Uploading the videos, going out to the highways and the byways. Yeah, it's work. It is. You know, going out there in the winter time, going out there during the summer when it's super hot. Yeah, it is work. But this is not the this is not the end of the game. We didn't fight the main boss of the game yet, man. That's getting ready to come up. Esau's the, the, the main villain at the end. And guess what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to have faith in you. How about shimmy our shot? So he can get us out of this situation and save us, man. All right. So remember, man, you're going to have to have faith. If you don't have faith, you ain't got it. So make sure you keep praying. Remember, the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are strong towers. Just let him take care of you and believe in those in those names. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm say, call Halayim Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. 
honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rata Zah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.